grade school, they used to make us run the 600 meter dash. It was like the most painful, most terrifying, most awful. Like getting so out of breath, you're hyperventilating, the stomach cramps, like just like putting your foot on the starting line, that terrifying moment of like, how am I gonna get through this? I liked sprints, like 40 yard dash, but never more than that. And the kids that like to run for fun, I just, it's not competitive. You're not playing a game. There's no ball. There's no glory in it. No one's watching you. No one cares. At age 32, I realized I was doing it all wrong. Facing the fear is the challenge. Being mostly comfortable is the goal and it's actually doable. And being with the boring, that's the game. It's a game versus yourself. It's not to get it done or to get through it. It's to get into it. It's a practice and there's nothing out there that's gonna make you feel more alive and confident and positive and creative. There's nothing better for all the things that you need to be a grown up than running a few miles outside. So when you're ready for it, and you'll know when you're ready for it, here's a few mistakes to avoid. And run. Running is not running. Like you're running the bases or getting back on defense or chasing a ball. When you go for a run, your legs do most of the work. It's not like you're using your whole upper body to pull yourself through and across the you just kind of relax and go. Don't use a treadmill unless you have no other choice. Run across the earth outside. Don't get out of breath until maybe the end. Stay just below out of breath. That, that's the sweet spot. Don't listen to music or podcasts or books on tape. Ditch the headphones. Not only is it a distraction, uh, it's a potential excuse just to not do it. Oh, I don't have my headphones, I'm not gonna go. Oh, I can't find the song I'm looking for. This is, now I've wasted so much time. But not only that, this is your chance to give your brain a break. Let it just be with you on your run. It's gonna race through thoughts and obligations and things that are stressing you out. But you notice those things and just bring your mind back to your, your breath and the feeling of the pressure on your toes as they hit the ground. There's no better meditation than running. Just you and the outdoors and your breathing. Don't run in extreme heat. You have to add 20 degrees to the, to the temperature and that's how it feels. So if it's 95 degrees outside, it's gonna feel like 115. But at the same time, if it's freezing cold outside, don't feel like you can't run. Like some of your best runs are gonna be when it's cold outside. The ones that are the most challenging mentally to get through it, to breathe through the uncomfortableness. But for a handful of days when it's dangerously cold, the windshield's gonna burn your skin, you can almost always get out for a run. Don't think that stomach cramps are inevitable. Greasy food, sugary food, especially within a couple hours of going for a run is what's gonna give you those stomach cramps. It should be comfortable. Don't eat an hour or two before, and if you do have a handful of nuts or granola, that should be fine. Don't go dehydrated, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel your legs crying for, for, for water. You can never be too hydrated. Don't think that anyone cares what you look like while you're running. You don't need any fancy gear. Get some decent shoes to run in. No one's looking at you, no one cares. And on that note, don't compare yourself to other people. There's gonna be people that run faster and run farther than you, and uh, there's gonna be people that are slower and can't run as far as you. Only compare yourself to yourself. Run alone, but don't run alone. Have someone that you can share your runs with, that you can text your runs to or, or share them on social media. It's gonna get you to go when you don't wanna go. It's gonna get you to push yourself when you don't feel like pushing yourself, which is what actually makes you feel really, really good. But on that note, keep in mind that people that haven't figured this out, that they haven't found the promised land of what a short run outside frequently can do for you, they don't wanna hear about it. They don't wanna feel how good you're feeling. It's like telling someone I feel amazing, I'm so positive and energized right now. They don't wanna hear it. Don't talk about your runs. Don't think that your days of lifting weights are over. Strong legs are gonna make your runs better, feel better, and they're gonna be safer. Squats and lunges are really all you need. You don't need to run a marathon, ever, 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 or a half marathon. Five Ks are all you need. Half hour outside, don't run every day, cause you're gonna get hurt. But run more days than you don't, because if you're anything like me, once you've figured this out, you're gonna find yourself so crabby if you go more than one day without running. Look, I was avid anti-run for so long, hated it. And you might feel that way for a long time, but then there's gonna be a day when you're like, wow, I no longer dread going for a run. I dread the days that I don't. Thanks for watching. See you next week.